Welcome to Roxio Media Book Ultimate, a new interactive way to tell your stories with photos, video, music, narration, and text. Let's begin. When you first launch Roxio Media Book, you will start at the home screen. This is divided into two sections. The top half displays the templates that you have to work with, and the bottom half contains all the media books that you have created. After you have selected a template, Media Book will present you with a choice on how you would like to create your book. You can choose to have Media Book automatically start a book for you, or you can choose to have full control of each and every page. Don't worry if you choose to have Media Book automatically start the book for you. You can always go back and adjust individual pages to suit your taste and needs after the fact. Next, tap on the plus button on the right hand side to bring in the photos you wish to use in your story. Media Book uses the standard Windows 8 file picker. You can simply select the photos you want by navigating to the appropriate folders and selecting the ones that are right for you. Don't worry about selecting too many or not enough. You can always add additional photos later and the ones that you have selected, if you don't want to use them, that's okay too. Once your photos are in Media Book, simply drag and drop them to the appropriate placeholder. If you don't like the picture that you've chosen, simply replace it by another one by dragging and dropping it into the same frame. You can adjust your photo by zooming or panning using your finger or the scroll wheel on your mouse. Entering text is as simple as selecting the text placeholder and entering what you want to say. Moving to the next page is as easy as swiping or using the arrow keys on your keyboard. To change, add, or remove a page in MediaBook is really easy too. Just bring up the menu bar, select the page icon, and then select the option that you want. Replacing or adding a page also shows you the options available in the template. Just select the one that you want and MediaBook does the rest. You can change the background of a page at any time by selecting the page, bringing up the menu bar and selecting the background option. You can choose colors, textures, or even use one of your photos as the background. If you decide to use your photo as a background, MediaBook automatically fades the picture back so it doesn't clash or detract focus away from your foreground photos. In addition to using text as a description for a photo, you can also use your voice and add that special touch. To do this, Select the photo you wish to narrate and bring up the menu bar. Then select the narrate option. You'll be taken to a narrate screen where you have up to 30 seconds to describe or leave your personal notation on the photo. Don't worry if you don't get it on the first try, you can always re-record the message. After you're done with your recording, select the back arrow on the top left hand side. You will now see a microphone icon on the photo to denote that your recording is attached. Roxio Media Book has some of the most popular editing tools and effects built in. To use these tools, simply select the photo you wish to change, bring up the menu, and select either Edit or Effects. Photo effects include black and white, sepia, as well as many others. Editing functions allow you to correct for cropping, rotation, and color saturation. Please note that Media Book does not change your original pictures or videos. Any effects or edits applied are only applied to the version in the book. Media Book will allow you to perform essential trimming and rotation of your video clips to ensure it is of the right length and orientation. You can also add that special flair to a clip by applying one of the numerous instant video effects. Please note that although the preview of an instant video effect is fast, Media Book will have to convert your video after you've selected the effect, which may take a little time. Smart objects are a great way to bring interactivity to your photos. With smart objects, you can place text on the back of a photo, turn a photo into a fun picture puzzle, or even turn a series of photos into an entire slideshow. There are a number of these smart objects and we highly encourage you to experiment to see which ones you enjoy to use the most. Once you're done with your masterpiece, it's time to publish and share your media book. You have a variety of choices available to you. You can save the media book to your local computer, or to your SkyDrive account, share it via email, or even post it to Facebook. Simply choose what you want and MediaBook will do the rest. Depending on how big your book is, the publish option could take a few minutes. Now you've seen the basics of how to create a MediaBook, it's time for you to start telling your own stories and sharing your life's passions.